governing Florida while running for president. With the DeSantis campaign setting up shop in Tallahassee, Sally Bradshaw is no stranger to the inner workings of presidential campaigns. I was fortunate to work in um, three different presidential campaigns. She worked for President George H.W. Bush, Governor Mitt Romney, and most recently served as senior advisor on the Jeb Bush 2016 campaign for president. She's out of politics now, but she gave me an idea of how important city selection is for a candidate. In 2016, Jeb Bush's campaign was headquartered in Miami. With that knowledge and based on her experience, Bradshaw expects between 80 and 100 campaign staffers to be set up in Tallahassee for the early stages of the campaign. How important then is a transportation infrastructure to a campaign. It's very helpful. I mean, certainly being in Miami, we had access to an airport that was uh, easily accessible to major markets around the country. Tallahassee International has far fewer options when it comes to direct travel. For example, the lowest average cost to fly from Tallahassee to Cedar Rapids, Iowa in January of 2024, around the time of the caucuses, is around $300 one way and takes an average of just under eight hours. That same trip from Tampa, around $250, and takes an average of five and a half hours. Big difference when it comes to getting staff to and from crucial primary locations. One big difference now versus 2016. People being able to access content and access each other, whether it's through Zoom or other forms of technology, you can pretty much be anywhere and be engaged and involved at a senior level. And when it comes to governors who run for president while they are still in office, I took my questions to Florida State University professor of political science, Hans Hassel. Sitting governors running for president, that's not unheard of. No, very common. I mean, very incredibly common. Um, George W. Bush. Um, running for running for president in, in the 2000s, you had a number of governors in the, in the last election cycle. I checked with Rutgers University and found that in addition to Bush, Bill Clinton ran while he was governor of Arkansas in 1992, Franklin Roosevelt for New York back in 1932, and Woodrow Wilson while leading New Jersey in 1912. For Governor DeSantis, it's really important that he then has people that he trusts are going to act according to the way he would want them to, to do so. Meaning he'll likely be delegating many duties to his staff while running. Hassel says he also expects tensions to rise in early 2024. The crunch will come if he is successful will be you know, right around the time of the Iowa caucuses. Mm -hmm. Right when legislat the, the legislature comes back into session here in Florida and you've got elections go ongoing right there. That's where we'll see the, 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 the tension of the governor's in Iowa, but we need him here. And Florida will certainly be in the spotlight. Bradshaw expects the national media to cover the governor both on the campaign trail and in the capital city. She saw it happen here during the 2000 election. The number of national celebrities and media personalities that descended on Tallahassee was pretty remarkable. And it was not unusual to be in the grocery store or to be in line at a restaurant and run into someone of significance on the national level.